talent, talent, talent. It is all around us, and this is where we feature it at Struckmind Online TV Spotlight Show. I am your host, Orina Dorothy. With us here today are a group of painters, Kilifi visual artists. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Fine. Josh, Gendo, and John. I got it right. <laughs> You're looking good today. It's so nice to have you here. You guys are doing amazing work. Uh, it looks really, really, really compelling and uh, it just feels awesome. Um, could you tell us how you began this journey of painting? What was the starting step for you, Josh? So I studied in, in, in my primary school. So after Apo and Form 1. So, now I was at So I was doing graffiti on the envelopes, mm -hmm. and then they sent them to the to, to the to the girls' schools. Mm -hmm. And I was getting paid some money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So your painting evolved from graffiti. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, Gendo. Yeah. Me, I realized my talent when I was very young, mm -hmm. around 12 years, and that was uh, around the first mm -hmm. I was doing both uh, abstract and uh, still life. Abstract, in the form you draw what you see. Mm -hmm. uh, still life also, you draw from perspective. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I am, as time goes by, I experience more than I love, both from my fellow pupils and teachers. Mm -hmm. Oh, and even the high school peer, in the Kwani Kinangana, support peer Kwani Kinangana, for some kind of shop fire and Kwani. And so, in the Kwani Kifanya, and after a class in Shule, in the Fanya, we were talking high school, in the street, street, in the Tanama artist, in the Pat Inspiration, in the Fanya size. Okay, uh, that's really nice. Um, John, what's your story? Well, I'd say for me, I started painting like late last year. Mm -hmm. Before then, I used to just draw in my sketchpad, just mm -hmm. pencil and all. But I used to tell myself that one day I'd go to a painting school like Bifa. Mm -hmm. Because I thought, to get to know painting, you have to, to go for training. Mm -hmm. So then, last year, a friend of mine shared a post about some training that would be taking place at our school. Some trainers would come. And then it was then that I got the experience because I got the materials for the first time. So I mm -hmm. tried, I just did whatever came to mind mm -hmm. and I realized I had a passion for that. Oh. So this period mm -hmm. of Corona was when I did my first painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is what I did. I get that you guys are coming from different backgrounds. Uh, so how did you guys come to meet and decide that we are going to be the Kilifi visual artists? How did you come to work as a group? Perhaps okay, can you? I am a street artist. Mm -hmm. uh, Josh, I went up to Kamilia, Sabalpana, Makazizam, street. Took a connect, took a day to Kaputana. So took a day to Kaputana, took a day to Kaputana, then we have to go to training and we have to go to university. Mm. Yeah, so we have to go to the job. So we have to go to the group, come to the visual artist. It's a real combination. So we have to go to the vibration. Okay. Yeah. Uh, John, you mentioned something about uh, you learning, you training from last year. Uh, so is it possible for one to learn how to paint? Can um, If you weren't doing it before or probably you haven't realized that you have that talent yet, is it possible to learn how to paint and actually to bring it out well? Yeah, I'd say it's possible because, okay, it was a training, but they did train, like, train us on what to do. Mm -hmm. They just gave us the platform and the materials to start. So my first painting, I just did it on my own. So if everything else, it just takes passion and then patience, a lot of patience because it's not just something you wake up one day and say, I'll start painting and expect good results. Mm. So it takes a lot of patience and practice. Okay. Because yeah. it does come out as though painting is such an exquisite skill. Like you guys bring out very beautiful things. 
um, so it usually seems like uh, something natural like it this has to be in you for it to come out so it can be imparted on someone yeah mm. so long as say on a positive mind mm -hmm. so someone and as I said my jacket yes I can mm -hmm. so First, you come up with a love, your art. Mm -hmm. You can do wonderful. Okay, so just passion and yeah. uh, perseverance, yeah. and you're good to go. Passion mm -hmm. and love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is your objective as Kilifi visual artists? What is your objective in common as the group? Okay, one of our objectives is to see if you want to workshop. Workshop Kumbo Sana, Abobo Tokoyne, and Kumilit. Caribbean artist for to Kilifi. To put me identity for modern education. Second, not a copy of an IO art gallery. Go to put my exhibit as a little pali pali. Come on, Samuel Kilifi. Have you got any advantages? What are the merits of working together collaboratively? Because you work as a group. Uh, so, what benefits have you reaped out of this than working individually? Okay, for me, I'd say it's it's been a nice experience mm -hmm. because it's safe to say I'm staying in the and I'm still finding myself. I'm getting to know which genre I'm interested in because even art has different types. Mm -hmm. So working with Josh, Josh is good at graffiti. Mm -hmm. This one has been an expert. He's been long in the game. Mm -hmm. So uh, getting to share. And learn from, yeah. from each other. Uh, so and is, is it experience. possible to work on a single painting, uh, different people? It's possible. Yeah. It's ah, possible. it doesn't yeah. bring out conflict. Josh will mm. sketch. This one will criticize me yeah, and paint. Mm. Yeah. So color. just the color too. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, so how would you describe your painting? Have you defined it to? With something, what would you what okay. message do you intend to pass with the paintings that you do? You can say mm -hmm. to us, it's like a language, it's like, it's like a language where we do communicate with the people visually, and also the type of painting that we are doing has a very big, deep meaning where it can even change the lives of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you get a message, and then this is what you exactly. want to pass to people. Um, <coughs> What does it take uh, for you guys to do painting? Like for you to bring the end result, what has it asked of you? What has it taken from you to get to that point? Okay, making of the materials, mm -hmm. that's the first step. The canvas and all, you can either make it or buy it. Mm -hmm. And then the paints. Wait, it's possible to make canvas? Yeah, it's possible to make canvas. You can just go to the hardware or carpenter mm -hmm. and ask them to make you wooden frames and then you buy this material it's like kitamba just bed sheet mm -hmm. and then you fix it yourself you just paint and it's good to go it's so when, when you angle. say fix it well, what does it mean does it come out or oh, what makes it change from a piece of cloth to this is canvas that i can paint okay, on? there is a process that we are doing mm. we are treating this material before we mount it on the Mm. There is a special substance that is called mm -hmm. uh, the super glue and the wood glue also where we do skim. We skim the portrait, we give it time to dry and then uh, after this put on the chora. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So other than uh, resources, um, buying the canvas and the paint and the brush, uh, what else does it ask of you from you? From you? takes time to, you know, you have to give it your time mm. and devotion. To get something like this, mm -hmm. you have to sacrifice maybe a day, hours, mm. to just get it right. Even a week. Oh. Even a week. Yeah. Sometimes it's just to do one painting. Yeah. yeah, and one thing about art, mm -hmm. when you're not in the mood, you can't force it. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can start maybe, maybe painting, mm -hmm. and then when you feel like you're not in the mood, you just pause and come back later. Because if you draw and you're not in the mood, mm -hmm. It won't come out right. Or it won't bring out the mood and the, yeah. the, the emotion that you're trying to bring out. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to this point, uh, is there a source of inspiration that uh, can get you back to a mode of drawing? Where do you draw your inspiration from? 
can decide. Like if you feel like you're not in the mood, another one latch now there, you go to the beach, you can go pay from there. Mm -hmm. You soon know there are many people. Mm -hmm. So you will get that's the environment yeah. also. Uh, okay. matters. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can do it indoors or can go to the beach. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So you change your environment and that just gives you psych to go on. Yeah. Ah, okay. So uh, your painting, do you do it as a hobby uh, or do you also explore it professionally? It's a little more, but it's a hobby because it's something I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I am from it, so it's a bit of both. Mm. And uh, how do you get to sell your paintings? How do you market yourself and reach out to people? It's through social media, WhatsApp platform, yeah, IG, Facebook. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you take photos and you post and uh, people approach you from those? There are so many followers. Ah, yeah. okay. So and you don't... share in different groups. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you do you just do online marketing or do you have like a shop where you showcase and the people can come and see them physically? Okay, we are running a shop in Kilifi town. So I usually can sign. Like in every brand in a good fine going as user. Like what mm -hmm. mm -hmm. most of the times can go to some graffiti mm -hmm. or you made a canvas for some people. So on a tray on a on a mm -hmm. So most most of the of our jobs on a phone calls. Okay. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Uh, so are there any difficulties that you face as uh, painters? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in tattooing you find someone and I could come up with that. So when you have painted that too, this every time is confirming. Ah, no, change this what you mm -hmm. check. So you find it sometimes custom and the go. You and attack on the results. Before you you're done. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So you also do tattoo? Yeah. Oh, okay. Here. Connect to connect the client, your mm -hmm. idea boy on our to bring them into imagination, to real life, mm -hmm. As a couple idea, rough idea, do this, 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 mm -hmm. rough finance, you know, it's like it's not satisfied. Uh, but then they didn't give you the full mm -hmm. picture, but they're expecting you to actually deliver mm -hmm. what they had in mind. <coughs> mm -hmm. And do, do you ever get negative feedback uh, from the paintings, from the orders that you get? Yeah. Okay, at some point, we're bound to receive the, but I take them as positive criticism. Mm -hmm. And so we have the power to decide how to filter the information we get and mm -hmm. use it for the best. Or the letters, let it, let it weigh us down. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Do you, do, you do you have support from the society around you? Who, who, who is your greatest support? can say the 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 the, the customers mm. like akuna support ko daba so you find that most of the time the people around you some friends oh. yeah. support the one support who support in the kwa sana kwa my clients wala bwana kulifa once you can start a good job bado atakufa kuna watu atakuja oh you find na nani namba hiyo so Na di kuto tupo kazi ni daily, yeah. So ona kujenga, ona kupa support, sana, 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 sana. And how easy or hard is it to succeed as a painter in Kenya? Seeing as you have said that the government does not support you as artisans enough, so how easy or how hard it is it to succeed as a painter in Kenya? Nothing, nothing ever easy, but it's just how to be unique. You just have to. Okay, whatever you do, mm -hmm. you do it in a way that brings you, like... It, it has your element in it. It has your element, mm -hmm. so that you can at least stand out. Mm -hmm. So that it's outstanding and people can actually come to you. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and uh, oh. you, you, you can just keep keep on doing it. Because you love, like, painting, just do it. 
Okay. Don't expect so much from people. Mm-hmm. We're in the lab for now. Like, we're going to go to the lab for now. We're going to go to But you can just do it from the, the lab you have, you have for it. Mm-hmm. Then the man will follow you. Oh, so you just do so it you out of passion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. From what you can do individually. From what you can push up on a boom in a man and inspire from the story of Vincent Van Gogh. Mm-hmm. Vincent Van Gogh is a Spanish artist mm-hmm. from Berlish in the late 16th century. Vincent Van Gogh, Katka Le Fepe, Ali Ali Paint, 2003 paintings. Na Kauzu Moja. Mm-hmm. But then after some years now, the paintings in Kujia pools are billions and billions of money. Mm-hmm. So at a little way to some of the paint is the Abbasin and Bill. It doesn't need it about Raja. See about it to paint, to paint, to paint. Mm-hmm. I didn't wish for much. <laughs> That's a good spirit. <laughs> so positive vibe going on. Um, so what does the future look like for you as a group? What are your plans with painting? We can say, like, in our group, we have a class 7 board. Mm-hmm. Oh, normally, I have to go to the beginning of the year. So, we do love going to work or terminate my mode to go workshop. We normally come. Mm-hmm. So, I can say, I want in future to have like, a big workshop. Mm-hmm. Where you can welcome anyone when you have to and paint any kind of art. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you promote those small kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Working as a team here in the military town structure, in the tension within our town. So we took your team come with a clear visual artist in a paradise that took your culture cars who work serikali rather than into the soul. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, the speed in it is different. Mm-hmm. So, aside from painting, since we know you guys as painters, uh, could you tell us who you are? Aside from what you do, um, who is Josh? Well, I'm a man on I'm a podcast by profession. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm a fresh graduate. Mm-hmm. So I just said to myself, why can't I take this one year? Uh, I just do painting, skate, mm-hmm. and just do what I love. Mm-hmm. Instead of going to Tamakim, finding jobs. So you find like Tango Tuzaliwa, you have to go to school, you have to go to school, you relax. So kushule kushule ah mi kamwa let chukui mwaka mm-hmm. just relax mm-hmm. and paint like like tattoo it mm-hmm. just started it like uh, in job mm-hmm. I um, I did some graffiti like I think too I mm-hmm. got like twenty one twenty one k mm-hmm. I went to our tattoo shop I bought new machines. Uh-huh. Uh, we will make an initial just connecting, mm-hmm. but society tattooing itself makes phones, oh, okay. and then you find I'm better. So you find some um, the the old artists, tattoo mm-hmm. artists. When I go to Kwangu, I tattoo them. So they love my work, and. Uh, Mm, that's great. Mm-hmm. I take that it's not just for the year. Uh, so even after this year has ended, you'll just be on the same path. Will you continue with tattooing and what you're doing currently? Yeah, so. sure. But like next year, mm-hmm. I'm planning in get come internship, but I'll be I'll be still doing the art, I'll be tattooing and be getting some graffiti. Still, mm-hmm. I will be there. I will be with with the team. Ah, oh, great, great, great. And uh, Gendo, who mm-hmm. are you? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mean rapper. Mm-hmm. Okay. Swahili rapper. Mm-hmm. Spoken word. Mm-hmm. Sang, sang, sang. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
so that is what you do concurrently with yeah. the painting. Mm -hmm. So you still do it right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And uh, Joan? Yeah, so I'm still a student mm -hmm. at Kwan University. pursuing a degree in environmental planning and management. Mm -hmm. And aside from painting, I love dancing, salsa, kizomba. Did you see a very wide? Yeah, I love sleeping. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, great, great. It's been so nice having you here all the way from Kilifi. Uh, it's quite a pleasure. You guys are doing amazing work. Keep on, keep working. You have amazing work. You have been blessed. This has been Spotlight Show with Chuckmind Online TV with our guests Josh, Gendo, and John. Our painters from Kilifi, they go by the name Kilifi Visual Artists. You can find them on the uh, social media handles at uh, Kilifi Visual Artists. Our back setup today has been sponsored by David Arts. Uh, you can also find them on uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and they have a website as well by the name David Arts. Thanks for watching. Catch us on Tuesday every week.